Welcome back everyone, welcome back to our everyday living. I forgot what brand washing machine this bloody was. We've been waiting on parts for this one for all right, a Kogan. K-O-G-A-N. Uh, this is the second part, been waiting for their bloody seal. The, the seal of, I had to get it from overseas. But anyway, here it is in the box. I had bearings already here. I, I went through my spare parts and that sort of thing. Done the tolerances and how much play there's spot on so I, I had those here so I didn't have to buy the bearings which was a good thing but I had to go and buy the seal so I done all my research got all the numbers got it all correct and there's the new seal in the box so let's put it together and find out if it's definitely going to work or I'm wasting my money let's hope this does work it should work put it that way now the reason why you don't throw your old bearings away you can use them as as a reinforcement to put the other ones back in. And that's the good part about doing it this way. Is that crooked? It sure is. So we better tap it this side. Get it straight. I just gotta make sure they go in straight. That's all it is. Tap one side, tap the other side. It's like a drift punch. Try and get it square, not bust the outer casing of the bearings. Like the seal part there. Then you've got to go around in circles. My fingers are getting in the road. <laughs> What's new? Very tight. That sounds like a T. Certainly does. That is definitely there. Mickey Mouse is in the house. Yeah. But anyway, that's that one. Now we've got to turn it over. Now I did get some Loctite for the bolts that go into the centre shaft. So um, we've got to do that because it did have Loctite on it. So we're going to replace it with a bit of Loctite. I went different colour. I think the colour goes into how, how long, it, how strength, strong it is and that sort of thing. So I think, I think I've got the stronger one. The red's usually the strongest as far as I know. Uh, but anyway, we'll get the new bear in here. The old bearing's a bit... Howdy do and clunky clunky clunky, but we'll still use it to put it in here. Recess it in there like so. Put that onto that. It's definitely there. Right, now I've got to go and get some grease. I did forget to grab the grease. I've got to pre-grease this, this seal because if you don't, you're going in dry and they usually come packed with grease, but this one being imported, they couldn't do that. So it's like a, a um, contamination coming through customs, that sort of thing. So I'll give that a wipe off and I'll go and get some grease. Right, yo, grease in hand. I've been using this sort of grease. It's, a, it's the blue stuff in there, not the red stuff. I actually mixed it together, not, not realizing. I was looking away and then talking to someone and put it in there and yeah, fortunately it was the wrong color. But I don't think it matters as long as I don't mix it and mix it. Um, so what I'm doing here 
is I'm smearing grease in there so when the shaft goes in, it goes in easy and it stays lubricated and you stop a lot of water getting through. So they come, supposed to come pre-greased. Siren in the background. Someone got pulled over probably. Put as much in as you possibly can. What I've been doing too, with these seals that are coming without grease, is wipe the outer edge off. You don't want that in your clothes. because that outer edge is gonna face out. Um, I've been putting a bit on the steel ring. Well, it's not, a, it's a steel spring inside. Can't have too much of this. Well, that's what I reckon anyway. That's just the way I've been doing it, and I've had no complaints, I had no machines come back to me. Not for a long time. All right, that to there. Keep all the grease off the seal on the outer edge there. Because what I will do is I've got a bit of Selly's All Clear Elastic here. Um, put that on the rag. And I'll put a smear of that just a smidget smear with the screwdriver around the edge of that to make sure it's actually going to seal in there. It should be the right size. They don't usually put it in there, but it's just reassurance to say, right, it's going to be white or okay like that. Now, where to put the top for that? That there. Uh, we'll put that over here. Over with the tools. All right. Put that on our box. That's our rubbish. Got nowhere for rubbish. Peel that off. This one's been opened before, so she's got a hard top on it. <clears throat> yeah, I move stuff around in there, Dal. <laughs> Looks tidier, doesn't it? She's going for a drink. Right, just, that's almost too much there. So I'll scrape a bit of that off. That should be plenty. Now, what I mean by just a smear, it's just a real thin layer. Barely even notice it. It's so if there's any imperfections in the plastic. Touch that stuff now. It's very tedious. But like I said, you don't have to do this. You can scrap your washing machine out. If you don't want to repair it, there's still money in it. But me doing it this way, like I've only had to buy the seal because I had the bearings. because I've been scrapping a lot of machines out. I hang on to the good bearings and toss the others. Right, that should be good. We're right around. Little patch there. Right. Add on to that rag. That'll go in the bin. Put our cap back on. That's a funny cap, isn't it? The only way I can keep that piece in good nick. <laughs> it works. That's the main thing. Put two fingers inside. Lay that on there. Grab the old seal. Drag all the crap out. So we don't get dirt in there, of course. Mm -hmm. I should add this prepared. Clean seal and all. But unfortunately, I didn't. I wasn't going to chance of putting this one back in because it was already leaking. So, best of order new parts. Right. Put that onto that. Start it off. It should just push in so far because we've got that elastic there. And then just give it a, a home away from home sort of thing. Drive it home. 
because we'll have to wait for this to set before we can actually put water on that oh usually 24 hours sometimes up to 12 hours even you know it doesn't take long for that stuff to dry um because that way you're reassuring making sure you're going to get it right but anyway we can put that all in there now got all that done we can actually do away with these parts now they're done done and dusted drum can go in after i put this in pop that into there yeah that goes that way around yeah pop that into there grab our drum drum a drum a drum your eye hurting is it It don't feel right. It don't feel right. It doesn't feel right at all. second what's going on here this hasn't gone right down <clears throat> hasn't gone through that's why I need to grab a couple of milk crates bear with me everyone Turn this back over this way because it's not going right through. Put in all that bit of pressure. Nice neat fit. That feels good. That feels a lot better. You can see where the grease has come through, so we're gonna better wipe that off. Right yeah. Now we should be able to put it in. How about I put it together out of here? Instead of putting it in there and then do it the other way. We'll do it out here. A lot easier out here, I reckon. We just got to know which way it all goes, that's all. Ah, that looks like that goes to that. Onto that. Or does that go around to that? I reckon that goes to that. That hole goes to that. We're not lining up right here. Come on. That's onto that. Doesn't want to cooperate. Oh yeah, it does. It is. It's cooperating. Right, all of our nuts and bolts and stuff. Get them off there. Put our magnet back. Whoops. Right, before we do, yes, that's got plenty of clearance. Right, now, that one there, 
needs to be gone and this one here on there so we've got the long tube one Last one, I think. Give that a check. Looks good. Flip them over and put the motor on. It should be down the bottom here somewhere. Right there. Pulley on too, I reckon. Long way, silly. Right, lay it on its face. Pulley on. Bit of Loctite. Oh, it is blue. Blue, blue, blue. Thought the container was blue. Ah, uh, red. Just a little bit. Don't need to put much. Sit that into there. This should be strong enough. What's next? Belt? Oh, I didn't see the belt. Where's the belt? Got to go looking for the belt. Bear with me, everyone. Well, it's very unfortunate. I've lost the belt, so I've had to order one. So we'll continue anyway, putting this together, and I'll put the belt on later, and we'll go through and get it all working. Because I have to still wait for that seal it to seal up and that sort of thing to actually bond. So it might be another four or five days before I actually get the belt. So I've only had to order it today. Mm, yeah, definitely about next week or sometime. But anyway. Like I said, we'll get it together. We've got all the drum in. Unfortunately, somewhere along the line, I've just lost the bloody thing. Don't know how. It's not one of those things I usually lose. Right, now we'll put the springs on the top. Because we've got everything on the back. We don't need to do worry about doing the back part. Spring out of there. That goes that away. Get my arm out of the road. No, you come back here. That up into there. That goes down in there. It's just a plastic piece. There we go. Stop the wear and tear. This one will do the same. Up and over. We'll get the bottom ones on then. Get it all happening. Sit down here. Hope you can all see. Not sure. Here we go. I won't sit down. It makes it hard for me to see. Stretch that out. 
Oh, it goes up into there, like so. Push it in. That's right in there. This one the same. on the hand. It's not the conventional way to do it. That's the way I'm doing it. Right, we should be able to put this hose on here. Get all of our hose, hose fittings on and then like that. That around to there, drill bit, screwdriver bit, make sure it's going the right way. That's on there, definitely not coming off that. What's next? Have a looky, looky, looky. We have to put that hose on to where? Where does that hose go? Go somewhere here or there. That hose goes on to there. So that can be undone. Better move them out of the road. We don't need them no more. Replace. Put our clamp on. That's on. Right, that goes up to there. All of our wires. We'll do them next. That's all down low. <coughs> Damn throat. <coughs> it's almost like someone's got me by the throat. Oh, I should have put that under there. That's why that's doing that. Okay. Gonna undo that again. Does that go under that? Or does it go somewhere else? Don't know. I think that did go under that. Oh, I got a gut feeling it is. It's got a long enough screw for it. go back through the oh, I shouldn't need to go back through photos because the blue one will be this side that'll be all the other side earth in the center what do we got here motor wires they go down the bottom <coughs> damn throat must have a throat problem or something you know I sound croaky <coughs> feels real dry go by length. I'm not going to worry about going to the photos because I'll have to come back and check it later anyway. Looks pretty good at the moment. Then the earth down under that. That like that. That looks good. I think I've got to put a tie there. That looks good there. There's plenty of play in that one. Motor wires can go down below. Oh, they get tied into that and around that. Around that way. Come down here. Plug that in. 
Nothing seems to go to plan when you get a video camera out. Here we go. <laughs> it's always the way. <sighs> I think it clipped in. Yeah, must have clipped in. There we go. Clippy clip. Felt the go clip that time. Put the earth on. And on the there. Do that up over here. the wires up so they don't flop around grab a zippy tie and we'll tie that up into that because I've got a vague feeling there was one there grab one of the ones we've picked up those done. All on. That can go there. <coughs> Mind my voice. Getting worse. Must be losing it. Right, now we can put the balance brick on. I think there's one that goes under there. I'm not sure. Yes, it goes under there. This one here. Goes on like so. Like it's been oh, a good couple of weeks, probably three weeks since I've done this one. So, doing it all off memory as much as I can. The old memory's not the best, you know, but I'm not doing too bad, are we? There it is. That one's there. All right. I think we could just about put the front face on. Are we up to that? Oh, I reckon we are. Put the front face on. We can put all of that schmozzle on after. Where's the front face? Down over here. Gonna take all the screws out first. Sit like so. Don't slide away. Sit there, swap that over. This is the main reason why I put screws back in where they belong, because, you know, might be a week or two before you come back to it and you don't know which screws go where. So it is a bonus by putting them back into the holes where you've got them from. And onto that. So 
that. Now we should be able to put that front kick panel on. There's nothing else to come down. Go into there. Right, go up first. No, definitely got to put those in first. Sweet. Right, uh, put the door on, I reckon. I reckon that's the GA, put a door on. That's that. Put this back in. Fiddly work, very fiddly work, but it's worth it in the end. Like for the seal, I think it only cost me thirty dollars. Belt probably only, oh, I do remember just ordering that. I would think that was about thirty dollars, so sixty dollars total just to fix this thing. Because I already had the bearings. Now, if I had to go buy the bearings. I'd be getting close up to about the $100 mark, but this machine, this typical Pacific machine itself, you know, retails for a good price. Uh, they're going for roughly around the three, dollars $400 mark, second hand. So that's pretty good. Just tilt that up to there, get him up. So I'm liking those stats. Been doing a bit of research, how much they're actually worth and all that. Yeah, that can go into that. Come on, go in the hole. Get in that hole. There we go. Slide that forward, up to that, to that. This pipe can go onto that. This goes with this, this goes with that. Back onto that. Let's look and look and look. It's just about there. Uh, we could put the balance brick on, could we? We certainly could. The concrete. Uh, this way round. Getting close to finished. Except for the belt. My mistake. I've probably picked it up and tossed it in the trash. You now I can't get that out of there. There we go. Come on. It's caught in there. Well, we'll fix that cordness. Spin it back out. Just about there, just about there. What have we got? Two parts left. We can put the control panel on. <clears throat> the voice is going again. Maybe I better start singing, eh? Ah, uh, what have we got to do? Oh, we've got an extra part here. We're gonna put this one on first, which is across the front here. Goes, uh, goes, uh, goes, uh. <laughs> yeah, okay. This is where I get confused. This is where I will get confused. Because we've got two screws, two screws, mmm, 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 damn, damn, damn. Got an extra screw here, damn, damn. Does that go there, or does it go there? Well, actually it goes that way round. There we go. Goes that the way round. 
because I'm not going back and looking at the footage, you know, trying to do this on the fly, get things done, get it together for you, make sure it's all together until I get the belt, and um, we'll wait for the belt to come in the mail, and we'll finish it off, get it all working that way. That's good there. That's on to that. That's fitting up perfect. Perfect. Do. That's there. That one to there. That one there. Bit of music be nice. See what I can do in the video for you. Chuck some in. Alright, that's that. Let's get the control panel connected up. <sighs> Jesus, you're not much of a control panel. Now, that one looks like he goes there. <laughs> Over there, maybe. Maybe. I'm all second guessing here, you know. That one's the short one. He goes there. You only gotta line them up. I did take a photo, I think. I'm just trying to get it together. Yeah, that one goes in there. That one goes over here. That way round. It's all glowing together pretty well so far. <coughs> That one there. This one down here. Not doing too bad for something I haven't looked at the photos for. That one on there, that all looks pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. Ah, uh, take that screw out, that screw out, and it should all. Oh, well, I've got to take that one and that one back off. Uh, so these two come out. don't know why that one's there. It's a mystery one, that one. Real mystery. Like this here. Oh, it's not a mystery. It's got to come out too. It's got a lug there. that down underneath that that into there like that go down there start that one off first these two in the front We've only got the door seal to put the ring on, and then it's all together. Ah, dear. Put this in. They go together pretty quick. Right, now we'll put our lid on, then we'll get around to doing the door seal. Come out of it. But I can't, can't test nothing until such times as I've got the belt. So, what we'll do is I'll continue this a uh, bit later date. Unfortunately, this will get this all edited for years and you know where I'm up to, make it into a three part thing. Three part video for you all. Put that onto that. 
I know the, the motor works, just got to wait for the belt. Unless I get one in the meantime, off an old washing machine. Right, that, that, that. Open our door. Start putting our belt in. Our, our ring in. That to there, get that through to there. Should just push on these. I did give it a wash before I started putting it all together, about a week ago. Doesn't look like it, but I did. That's all flopped on there. Now I've got to get off my old crate, get the old knee happening, make sure the spring's down the bottom, put the spring in there, start feeding it around. Stay down there, son. Get down there. Huh? Get down there. I'm not pressing hard enough. Go in, go in, go in. There we go. Now, give that a wipe out. A clean rag right here. Right, that is together. So unfortunately, because I've lost the belt along the tracks somewhere along the line, we're gonna have to finish this one off here and get back to it later. The good thing is, I can take the back off to put the belt on. I don't need to pull the whole thing apart. So if you've come this far in this video, everyone, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you get notified when we put a new video out. I do apologise for my voice the way it is. Don't know what's happening. I must be still ill with a flu or some sort of thing. But anyway, it's just a viral thing that I'm getting in my throat, I reckon. Or sleeping too close to a crack. Something like that. You know, jokes aside. <laughs> but anyway, hope you've enjoyed tagging along with me on this one. And until next time, everyone, happy scrapping, happy dumpster diving, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!